Hello everybody, all my very dear audio friends around the world. This is me, Paul, again in my studio, Warsaw, Poland, and again we're going to talk about music mixing, mastering, production, sound design, game audio, and more. And today is the day I will review Avenger 2 Synthesizer for you. It's been out for a couple of days, but I was so busy that I had no time to review it for you. Because to say I'm busy is to say nothing, and I'm wondering... How busy can you be before you get literally insane? And probably I'll know that very, very soon. <laughs> but okay, jokes aside, guys, yes, this is a big day for me as well, because yes, Avenger became my go-to synth. It's one of my most used synthesizers. You'll find a vid about it here. I know a lot of people are users of Avenger and a lot of people would like to become, consider this synth which is a great idea probably. So today we'll try to find an answer for two questions. First, should you buy Avenger 2 if you don't own Avenger? And should you upgrade from version one? And of course, if you think this channel is a cool place, if you like my studio, my vids, and for example, my dubious sense of humor, you can always subscribe, get notified, you can like this vid and comment on it so that we ignite one more discussion because I'm really always looking forward to discussing things with you guys. Let's go. Okay, Avenger 2 is in front of me. This is the panel of this thing. And you know what? Looks like version one, right? <laughs> I mean, okay, it's slightly revamped, but the general layout, this is version one, more modern, more sleek, which I like because I wasn't a fan of default colors of version one, I have to tell you. This feels better, but okay. What's new, actually? And to learn what's new, Avenger 2, Vengeance South, new features. It's discounted right now, cyber season, let's say, discount. This is a cool price as for Avenger. Let's dive in and let's try to create a patch today using only new features or almost only new features of Avenger 2. This is probably a good way to review this synth. Sound generator modules, spectral module, smooth FFT based time freezes. Okay. Single loop, drum loop, quantizer. I would go for this spectral module to create my new patch. Spectral is here and I can choose. Okay. Avenger is crazy. It's endless. As for sonic results you can achieve in seconds, this synth can sound like every other synth out there. It can do literally everything. Anyway, I like this already. What can I do to it, editor? Ah, okay, so here... Right. I'm not sure if I need this. Uh. <laughs> that was quite a ride. Let's get back to something more. Obvious, more classic, synth-like. Okay, what's next? This spectral thing is cool. Let's skip the drums here. It's good to know that there are some changes to drums in Avenger 2, but drums in Avenger are actually a separate video on its own. Arpeggiator. Randomizer is in, in Arpeggiator. Let's randomize this. So, where's this randomize? Toggle randomizer. And... 
so note silence length octave velocity ratchet ratchets what if and auto dice so probably he's gonna change it every bar or so Um, uh, guys, yes, it's been a while, but it's really nice. I mean, it's endless inspiration. And the way you can randomize things here, the way you can create patterns, this is really cool. You know what? I've got this little guy here. I'll show it to you. It's called Oxy One. It's a hardware sequencer. Drum and not only drums, with also nice creative ways to sequence things. I will review it for you also one day. But this thing is actually huge and I'm afraid to shoot a video longer than 30 minutes. But it reminds me a bit of this in the way of being creative and, uh, and in depth. It's different, but this is really serious. This re is really great and I already like the baseline I created here in minutes. And only I, what I would do is that I would go to send track and I will turn off reverb and delay. Ratchets, I used ratchets. Quantum complex multi-tap delay with 20 effects. So like a multi-effect of some kind with delay on top. We'll see. So yeah, I've got a delay section here, and here I've got a multi-effect sequencer that can have quite a lot of stuff, to be frank. And I've got three layers of this. Are you serious? Yeah, kind of. Guys, this is really nice. I mean, I could easily use this bass in a cool track, like seriously. It might look like version one, but what, what I've already seen, it's enough for me to answer, answer your question. If you own version one, you will love version two, just for the reasons you have just witnessed. But there's more, right? bit, byte, and root of verb. In parallel filtering, wow. Yes, because filters used to be all, only ser serial in Avenger. Let's go this bit, byte thing. Cool, and now let's drown it in this root of verb which is supposed to do shimmer. Yes, I can already see shimmer here. Aventide. This is Aventide. Yes, Aventide is famous for reverbs of that kind. Ah, I'm really enjoy. I'm serious, guys. Uh, 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 VPS people don't pay me a penny for this. I totally enjoy this thing. It's really cool. <laughs> like, uh, yes, 
uh, okay, what's next? Let's envelope follower is there, filter. Mm, I think my filter is fine like this, but it's good to know that there is parallel filtering, not only serial filtering. Global. Okay, presets, new presets. We'll play some presets very soon. Compatibility, downwards compatible. So all your Avenger 1 content should be fine with Avenger 2. Of course, presets and impulse response library. Nice. Fixes and improvements. I will save this because I'm really happy with it. Yes. So now, yes, I've got my folia base here. That's my first Avenger 2 patch using its new functions. Feels really cool. And now let's run through some presets. It's a full EDM track written and almost mixed in Avenger. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. This is all great. It shows you the potential of this synth, which is even larger than, in, than it used to be, which is really crazy for me. This thing is out of this world. And let's take some sequence. Oh, I've got still some synths. And let's try to duplicate this as many times as possible before we choke our CPU. This is like a medium patch. It's not the lightest. It's not the heaviest, uh, also for sure. My VST meter is needed now. <clears throat> Okay, so that was easier. Let's switch to 128 buffer, which is like the largest for production, let's say, uh, purposes. And let's see whether it makes any sense now, because that's going to be heavier for the CPU. I've got 64. I don't know how this guy's optimized. <laughs> But I'm running 64 instances of Avenger on buffer 128, and I get roughly 15% of CPU use. Maybe this is because the patch is the same, but it shouldn't really matter. My DAW should absolutely play each patch as a separate track and separate VSTI. Guys, I'm running 128 instances of Avenger playing an arpeggio with some effects. And I'm not choking. Okay, this is 7950X beefed up with fastest RAM and fastest uh, M2 Ultra drives, but still, this is like... Uh, I believe that... Avenger 2 has been seriously optimized. 
what I'll do now is that I'll make it really hard for this little fellow. I'll set the buffer to 64. I don't know what to say, because maybe I should choose different patches or so, because this is kind of unbelievable even that I'm able to run 128 instances of this synth on buffer 64 samples running an arpeggio like this. This is unheard of. And this is great news both for Avenger, Avenger and for my new PC build that also, also deserves a video. Guys, I think I'm ready to sum the things up. Yeah, so at first Avenger 2 may look a bit like version 1 revamped only visually on the surface, but believe me, it's not like this. You could witness it, right? So uh, version 2 of this synth is seriously upgraded and the list of new functions is quite a long one, an extensive one, but the quality of what's there, it's staggering. It's amazing. The sonic signature of this synth already was amazing and now the boundaries of synthesis with Mm, Avenger 2 ha have been pushed even further and it sounds amazing and possibilities it gives you are seriously at the edge of being endless. So if you ask me should you buy or should you upgrade from version 1 to version 2, the answer to both questions is hell yes, do it. Because I do believe this is an amazing machine that got even better and yes it's still going to be my go-to and it's probably going to eliminate some other synths that I'm using because especially this new randomizer arpeggiator uh, thing it is addictive and I can imagine myself getting addicted to it very very quickly which is a good thing come on it's a synth it's fun it's it's really a cool tool to make some cool music so guys grab Avenger 2, put your hands on it and tell me what you think down below in the comments. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.